confirmation of the halftime score, it's actually 37 to 29. So it's an eight goal advantage for St. Vincent and the Grenadines over Grenada. Well, they were locked at 16 all at the end of the first quarter. The second quarter, 21 goals scored by Grenada and 21 goals scored by St. Vincent and the Grenadines and 13 by Grenada and over in Peterson Natty. That may well be the quarter that separates these two teams for good. Yes, certainly the score and the ability for St. Vincent to get the ball in the circle made a huge difference. Um, Grenada struggled because they were only depending on their one shooter, Kato, and not getting that other goal attack involved. And of course, St. Vincent was a bit more, you know, aggressive getting that ball and you know that's why they are eight points up Marion Frederick solid at goal shoot for St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Shalissa Davis impressive as well scored her first six shots eventually missed two in that second quarter but the Vincentians consistently getting the ball into the circle and shooting wonderfully well uh, this afternoon and they have come out meaning business and that second quarter performance may be what separates the teams at the end of uh, this contest real high quality performance from SVG 21 goals here are the statistics Two footwork calls against the St. Vincent and the Grenadines team, one against Grenada. 20 contacts by St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 16 point Grenada obstructions, 6 SVG, 3 Grenada turnovers, 4 for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 9 for Grenada, not a lot of turnovers, but maybe that's because not enough pressure is being applied on the defensive end. Interceptions, 4 in the match, all by St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and no offside calls in the contest. So far, we are at half time. St. Vincent and the Grenadines lead by eight. Can Grenada find a way back? We'll find out. this one to be close and it was in the first quarter the teams locked at 16 all but a brilliant second quarter from the St. Vincent and the Gren and Grenadines team where they scored 21 goals to Grenada's 13 making it 37-29 at the half they improved to 49-41 at the end of the third quarter and then another fabulous final quarter where they scored 20 goals to 9 from Grenada it was an utterly dominant performance from St. Vincent and the Grenadines and over in Cincinnati. I'm not sure we expected a 19 goal difference at the end of this contest. Not at all, we didn't expect that, but guess what? Kudos to St. Vincent. They came out looking business like I thought Grenada came out flat. They lack energy, they lack aggression, and they just, um, just allowed St. Vincent to walk all over them. They left the whole work on um, Latisha Cato. And when you play a game like netball with this close, everybody has to be involved. And um, we didn't get that from their goal attacks. None of their goal attacks that came in. But um, St. Vincent, they turned things around. They did better than when they played Barbados, meaning that goal, at goal attack. Their goal attackers were highly involved. Yeah, in contrast, the St. Vincent and the Grenadines team when Shanice Daniel came on in that final quarter looked even better than they did before and that accounted for the 20 goal performance in that final quarter. Six footwork calls in the contest, four against St. Vincent and the Grenadines, two against Grenada contacts, 38 against St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 35 against Grenada, obstructions, 11 called against Grenada, nine against St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 17 turnovers. That's good for the entire match for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 23 for Grenada, interceptions five in the contest four of them 
force in Vincent and the Grenadines. Just one offside call that was against the Grenada team, and that came in the third quarter. Mariah Ramarak is at courtside, and she has a Collymore alongside her. Yes, Ricardo, with me, Shakira Collymore. Uh, what did you make of your ladies' performance today? Um, overall, I think, you know, um, our turnovers cost us the game. We had a lot of turnovers, and St. Vincent capitalized on that, and I think they wanted it more, um, and they won. So, you know, it's a very tough loss. You know, it's a rivalry that's been happening for years. So, um, yeah, um, hats off to St. Vincent for being more aggressive, and, you know, our girls, we just have to look back at this game and go forward from there. Yeah, and at the end of the tournament, you know, your last match tonight, uh, what will be your major takeaway when you head back to Grenada? Um, my biggest takeaway, I would say, is um, fitness. I think our preparation time had a lot to do, and we didn't realize how rigorous the tournament would have been in terms of two matches per day and another match after. So I think our takeaway would be... Um, early preparations and also getting in more matches leading up to the qualifiers. Um, we haven't played netball, competitive netball regionally or internationally in more than about three years, two, three years. So I think that is our biggest takeaway from the tournament. Well, I want to thank you so much for your time. And of course, I wish you and the entire Grenada team all the best. Safe travels. Thank you. All right, Shakira Collymore there from the Grenada team. A disappointing result, but nevertheless, you know, good job. We're going to be joined now by uh, Team St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Just waiting on her to come on. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Congratulations. Thank Talk you. to me about that fight from St. Vincent and the Grenadines today. Well, we knew what we had to go out and do, and we stick to our instructions, and we just played. You know, we saw a difference in Vincent and the Grenadines uh, team today. A lot of fight, good chemistry. Would you say that, you know, uh, you came into this saying, I have to end this tournament on a bang? Well, we call it hurdles. Our coach call it hurdles, and yes, we say we are not going down without a fight, and that is exactly what we did. We kept fighting. Yeah, as we get ready to wrap up the tournament, I know we have one more match, Trinidad versus Jamaica. But what would be your personal takeaway when you head back home? Well, back to training, rest, back to training, and get more fit, I guess, and keep our team together. Well, I want to thank you so much. Congrats again and safe travels. Thank you. Of course, a very, very happy St. Vincent and the Grenadines team, especially because of ending their competition with a win. It's back to Ricardo Chambers, where he'll continue giving us the very best of the action. Yeah, thank you very much, Mariah. The very best of this afternoon coming from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a 69-50 win over Grenada at the NISC penultimate match live 